Today I'm going to be making something really yummy and these are peanut butter chocolate chip cupcakes. So let's get on with the ingredients. A half a cup of milk, one cup of all-purpose flour, two cups of chocolate chips and I'm using Hershey's semi-sweet chocolate chips in this recipe. You can use anything you wish. Three quarters of a cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of regular white sugar, a half a cup of butter and I'm using unsalted butter, a half a cup of brown sugar, two eggs, one teaspoon of vanilla, one teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. Now if you're using salted butter, simply omit the salt in this recipe. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. A recipe note, these are the ingredients for the cupcakes. Later on I'm going to show you the ingredients that we need for the frosting. So let's get on with the recipe. Alright, our first step is to get all of our butter into our bowl. And we're also going to get the brown sugar and our white sugar into the bowl as well. So there we go. And all of our nice white sugar. All right, and we're going to start creaming that up together. So this is always your first step. You want to cream your fats and your sugars together. So I'm going to start doing this and I'll come back when this is mostly combined. All right, that's good. We'll get in our first egg. There we go. And we'll get that going. That's going to loosen this right up and that will help with the creaming process and incorporating air into this mixture. And by the way, the warmer your butter is, the better off you will be with this, this process right here. Warm butter works much better. It breaks down much easier. So if you have cold butter, it's not gonna, it's gonna be a little bit more of a task to do. So you wanna really do use room temperature butter. So there we go. I'll get my second egg in. We'll get, incorporate that. Okay. And then I'm going to get my vanilla in. Get that going. And I'm going to get my salt in there as well. A lot of ingredients, but it's good to get all of them out before you start your recipe, and that way you've got everything ready to go and it makes, makes this recipe much easier. You know, when you look at all the ingredients at the beginning, it does look a little overwhelming, but it's still an easy recipe. Okay, so there we go. Okay, our next step, I'm gonna get all of our beautiful peanut butter in there. All right, there we go. And we'll get that blended in. Oh, that's starting to smell really, really good. Okay, perfect. Now, flour, baking powder, get it all together and you want to just whisk that around with a fork. So I'm just going to start mixing this around because I do want to have this you know even throughout the flour. So just like that. There we go. Beautiful. Get a little bit in, about half, and let's start slowly getting this mixed in. We've got our milk. I'm going to put about half of that in. There we go. That'll just help with the mixing process. We'll just get that mixed. Oh, this smells really, really good. I also want you to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. Okay, that's good. We'll get the rest of the flour in. You can see that, you know, this is 
if you lay everything out beforehand, measure everything out, this is a very easy recipe. I know it looks like a lot of ingredients at the beginning, but when you start putting everything in the bowl, it just, it just, you know, you can see that it's easy. So there we go. And then I'm just going to get the rest of our milk in. Okay, that's good. And now we're just going to pour in all of our chocolate chips. And I am using Hershey's here. Ooh, these are semi-sweet chocolate chips. You can use any kind of chocolate chip that you like. So let's just slowly incorporate this. And that's it for this part of the recipe. We're going to go through the ingredients for our frosting a little later. First we're just going to finish these off. Okay, perfect. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go get my cupcake muffin tins and I will be back. Okay, I've got my cupcake tin here ready to go and I've got some little paper liners. These are optional, but I do like using them. So there we go. And I'm just going to grab my batter and we're just going to start filling these up. You can see how easy it is when you have a scoop like this. And you can get an equal amount into each, you know, little cup, which is good. There we go. This is a really, really easy batter to work with. Just like that. So your oven, 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna bake these for about 20 minutes or so. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, off to the oven, I'll pop these in. I'm gonna come back when I've done the whole thing. So while my last batch of cupcakes are in the oven, let's go over the ingredients that we need for our peanut butter frosting. One cup of peanut butter, a half a cup of icing sugar, a half a cup of milk, a half a teaspoon of vanilla, a half a teaspoon of salt, and three quarters of a cup of butter. And I'm using unsalted butter. If you are using salted butter, simply omit the salt in this recipe. So let's get on with this portion of the recipe. A recipe note, I'm not gonna use the full amount of milk and I am also gonna use more icing sugar than I actually have here but I just want to show you the different ways that you can actually mix this up so that you can get either a thicker icing or a thinner icing, depending on how you actually want to put it on your cupcakes. All right, our first step is to get in all of our nice butter. And just start mixing that up a little bit, just like that. And then I'm going to get all of our icing sugar in here. Just mix that up. So I'm just gonna cream this up well. So what I'll do is I'll con continue doing this and I'll come back in about a minute or so when it's fully combined. So there we go, it just creamed up. Perfect. So let's get all of our salt in there. And our vanilla. And I'm going to pour in a little bit of our milk, just like that, and our peanut butter. So I'll just get all the peanut butter in. All right, there we go. And we'll start combining that. Okay, all right, so you can see here that I've got some nice peaks going on. So at this point, let's look at how much of the actual milk we use. This was a half a cup. Our recipe doesn't necessarily need all of this, and as you can see, it doesn't. I don't want to actually make this any more thinner than it is. If you're going to take this icing or frosting and just use a spatula to put it on top of your cupcakes, you could use it like this. If you want to actually pipe it out, then what we're going to do is we can add a little bit more icing sugar, which I'm going to do now because I do want to actually pipe mine. Okay, so I'm going to pipe this out. So what I'm doing is I'm adding in a half a cup of icing sugar. So let's just watch and see how much thicker this, gonna, this is going to get with just that half a cup of icing sugar. So we'll just mix that up. You can see how easily you can change this recipe up. If you don't want it as thick, 
then you add in you know less icing sugar if you want it more thick then you can add in more icing sugar it all depends on what what way you want to actually apply this frosting to a cupcake so there we go so you can see that this is much thicker now look at this and that's what I'm going to use to put on my cupcakes so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to check on my cupcakes I'm going to let them all cool down and then we'll come back and we'll frost them up all right all of my cupcakes have completely cooled now and I got a total of 17 beautiful peanut butter chocolate chip cupcakes out of this recipe so there we have it so I'm gonna cut into one we're gonna frost one as well and I'll set up for that and I'll be back in a second okay I've just zoomed in a little bit and I'm just going to open this up and we'll just slice into it I want you to show you I wanted to show you what is inside so let's just cut right down the middle you can see how nice and moist that is and where are we here we go and there we go look at that doesn't that look awesome oh and it smells so good okay so now that we've seen the inside let's frost a couple up all right let's just frost a couple of these up there we go all right we'll do another one just like that perfect so there we go so that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it these are my peanut butter chocolate chip cupcakes with peanut butter frosting so that's it for this video so I'll see you next time mmm 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 yum